All right, so this is my old phone, the LG uh, Stilo, and this is such a much better phone. I like this phone way better than my Samsung Galaxy A32. Oh, so we'll test the uh, camera. I mean, I bet you the camera is probably better on, well, I know the camera's better than the other one, 48 megapixel. This is like eight, but I always liked the video on this one, and I like everything about this phone. It's just got the displays better, all kinds of stuff. But look how freaking overcast it is, man. Like, like I was saying on the other one, it, the, the night sky sucked last night. Look at this over here, though. Isn't that cool? This place is awesome. Yes, it is. I'm going to go on a hike right now. I'm charging up. Uh, I got to use the battery to charge the everything. The car battery, I got it plugged in here. Um, or else I don't... I'm not even gonna try and put the panel up. I'm not even. I don't even think I'll try to test it. Look at this. This is where I saw the bobcat. He was up in here. I didn't see him this time, but I saw him last time. He was over in there. So I've been keeping my eye out. Saw elks right when I got out of my tent this morning. They were real close by. Uh, tons of blue heron. Um, an ibis, I think. Something that looked like an ibis. It had the really long, curvy beak. Really cool, all kind of birds here. Uh, lots of different kinds of ducks, like uh, Canadian geese. Just tons of birds. They won't shut up. I slept really nice last night. Um, I really like that bed. But anyway, as you can see, it's overcast, but it's still super beautiful area. I'm gonna drive over there, I think. Here, I found a petrified forest. That's pretty interesting. Um, I don't know if I'd call this an actual forest, but there's a few specimens. So, yeah. That's really strange. It's got the texture of wood, but a rock. I mean, it feels like it's bark, but yeah, pretty crazy. So, this one's got a cool hole in it. Pretty neat. Pretty neat. Um, and then now I'm going to go on this bird haven trail. So, see, I'm the only one here. There are a couple other people camped in RVs. There's a tent camping, RV camping. Um, this really is a great place. I talked to a park rancher. He said that there was every single campsite everywhere was completely full last weekend. So, okay. So those are mule deer. There's some mule deer running around here with real cool fur. And I'm going on Bird Haven Nature Trail. So, maybe I'll tell you where this is at the end, because it, it needs more um, visitors. It's just such a cool area. Here, let's go. I'll record some of it, cause, just because. And I was just going to go empty some SD cards onto the mini computer, but... I don't remember the password to the mini computer. I love the contrast, like these yellows, 
and then I mean, you can really see the yellows they really stand out see that green on that rock this trail is getting kind of steep just love these colors purples a green grays yellows Nice little valley. There's probably a ton of wildlife that lives right here. Let's keep going. Bunch of cool yuccas. Not sure what kind they are. Getting higher up and higher up. I love the rock formation. Here we're going to get some good weeds the lake and I'm camped at it's on the other side of those trees. Sorry for wind if there is some. I keep meaning to get one of them dead cats. See that contra green against the straw color? I love that. And then I don't know if you can see all the way in the distance there that tower I mean, it just looks like that, and then, uh, like, it looks like nothing, like, over there, and then all of a sudden it opens up to this, like, beautiful place here, and this is basically the beginning of all the canyons and stuff, and, uh, right before you get to the mountains, so it's what separates the grassland here from the desert and the mountains, and it's just a really cool area. See Penny down there? So, I'm glad you all could come with me again on another trip. Um, I'm having a blast. It really looks like it's going to rain, but and it, it, there's an 80% chance now I actually have service up here. So I checked, but not till night. But it sure looks like it wants to rain right now, doesn't it? Uh, wants to blow my cowboy hat off. Yeah, I talked to the forest ranger. He said I should be okay going where I'm trying to go. So I'm still going to go. Um, hopefully there will be some sun. So I can test out the panel, man. Now now I know that I definitely want the dual battery system. Like a Battleborn. Or maybe two Battleborns. Because I'm constantly worried about the power. And I know it wouldn't be if I had like 200 amp hours. Instead of... Uh, Whatever I got now. Now that power station is badass. It still seems to work just as good as the day I bought it. And that's really saying something. It's like a year and a half old now. Um, yeah, yeah, about a year and a half old. And I used it for two whole months, 24 seven. You can see my tent from here. If you can see that it looks like a road going up to the lake just across from the lake there's my tent I need to name my tent you gotta watch where you step man I keep seeing these ass holes all over the place I don't know if they're kangaroo rats or, or snakes but it keeps looking like it's going to rain. I don't want to take that chance and get all my cameras and stuff. There's three different cameras on me. Tripod. One of those cameras is my phone. So, you know.
take a look at this guys this is uh we'll clear up this window but this is some really cool rock formations i try to use my windshield wipers they clean the windshield a little bit there wasn't nearly as many bugs this time as last time but look, look at this look at that little tree up there that is cool this big rock check it out this is the scenic overlook we're not wanting to drive over here with before I had the all-terrain tires now I'm just like whatever Lots of really cool rock formations. But there's a little bench. There's my lake. I bet you can see my tent. You can see my tent from here. Look at me, Gimbal. Thank you. Gimbal, you're being weird today. Guys, I've always wanted to go down here, but I had the all-terrain tires before, and now I do, and I really should have aired down, um, but this, you know, it's such a short little spurt, I'm not really too worried about it, I'll just go very slow, because this is pretty rocky, but look at this, man, this place is just gorgeous. Alright, that's pretty windy. sport mode we're on quite an incline she's handling just fine oh yeah this is what I came here to do and then this is where I've always wanted to get to I guess I can go over there try to block off with big, with big stones like this and then a stick and some more stones, so I can't drive down here. But that's okay. I don't need to drive down here. Um, I'll just let Penny sit there and charge up the power station. Ah, shit. Not editing that out. This is so cool, guys. And look, I'm actually I made it to one of the islands. Let's go up on top of the island. I think these geese might be nesting here. Because they're going nuts now that I'm over here. Yep, I'm king of the mountain. Oh, look! Can you see that? Wow guys, I've never seen eggs that big before and those guys sure were freaking out that I was going near them so they calmed down now that I'm far away and I'm walking back and I see this I don't know if you can see that but that looks like that looks like a cliff dwelling I mean it's definitely stones stacked up 
I don't know if it's an ancient uh, Native American dealy or if it's somebody visiting made it. So let's go over there. Very clearly not Native American, but somebody spent a lot of time. I think I would have knew if it was an actual cliff dwelling. This is this it's not like anything I've seen. Looks like it was recently done. I don't see any mortar. But I don't know. I can't believe I didn't know this was here. Wow. That's really cool. Yeah, some people must have spent a really long time. Baldonado, Aaliyah, Casey, Albert. Wow, this is really cool. All right, let's watch Penny conquer this hill, this rocky hill. We are in sport mode. This Falcon Wild Peak AT Trails. Now this is, my Forester's a 2010, so no CVT. It's supposedly the last great Forester. So it should just be able to crawl right up. Um, you know, the newer ones, you'd need momentum. This one, it's just, it's just gonna go. I've never had a issue going anywhere in this car except when I didn't have high enough ground clearance. Now, I probably could have made it but I would have been scraping um, and I don't want to scrape nothing. I don't have skid plates. There's no armor. There's like some plasticky stuff but that ain't gonna do nothing. Look at this. 